More on Amazon and likely challenges ahead for retail. Let's bring in Bill Simon, former Walmart U.S. CEO. He's now on the Darden Restaurants and Haynes Brands boards. Uh, Bill, great to see you. What will you be looking for out of this Prime Day? What are you looking for in terms of clues and what that tells you about Amazon or other retailers? Yeah, I think what we got is a really nice, good old-fashioned retail food fight like we hadn't seen before COVID. You know, we've got Prime Day, we got Walmart Week, we got Circle Weeks. Everybody's trying to, you know, deep discount and get the consumer to move. The consumer knows, as you guys were just talking, that this is the time for deals, and the discounts are quite deep. I expect to see Amazon do uh, put up some real nice numbers. They, they're, they're not going to miss. They're, they're at least their top line. They've got the algorithm to make sure. Uh, they get the sales out of it. I think what we really need to look at it are the margins and how they do uh, coming out of this from a margin perspective. You hear a lot of talk about downturns, Bill, and you're, you're, you're Haynes Brands, Darden, so you have your finger on the pulse here. Who is best positioned if the second half of the year we see this much anticipated downturn in the economy? Yeah, you guys were just talking about it. Walmart's mix, it really gives them, uh, their, you know, that food business gives them the traffic and the trip and the opportunity to sell general merchandise products uh, better than really anybody else, particularly Target. So I, I like Walmart in the back half. Bill, it's Karen. Thanks for being on. So what do you think, I know we can't break it out, but what do you think Amazon's margins are for the retail side of their business? Yeah, you know, they don't tell you. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the interesting part, right? You don't ever really get to figure that out. And you look at their earnings and you break it down and you know, globally, they're probably breaking even um, on the retail business, making all their money on AWS and, and, and on advertising. And, and so I'm sure that there is a split up value. I think the whole thing only works together. When you see this food fight going on, Bill, who are you most concerned about in terms of, you know, feeling the real pressure as Amazon, you know, cuts their prices and they're forced to cut their prices, too, and also see margins dwindle? Well, I mean, I think the consumer is the big, the, you know, will, will be the biggest benefactor. You know, right now, we, we, as you guys were talking, Target's struggling. They're trying to find some traction. And uh, their, their choice is either lose the sale or lose the margin and, and, and keep the sale. And that'll be what I'm looking for, right, to see, to see how they handle that whole interaction. Are they going to go deep, deep, deep and, and keep the customer are they, and sacrifice margin? Or are they going to, uh, you know, let the business go somewhere else? Bill, it's Tim. Take a step back and, and give us your thoughts on back to school and the promotional environment and who's going to be more aggressive and, and uh, um, how does this bode for holidays? I mean, what, what's the forecast here? Yeah, I think back to school will be pretty good um, relative to where we've seen it. it. It'll be very aggressive in pricing. Last year, inventories were iffy. Uh, they, you know, they were, you know, oversupplied in certain areas and undersupplied in other areas. This is really the first year that I think they've got the merchandise they want with the lead times that they needed them. And I expect that you're going to see everybody be aggressive because they got to get through the merchandise. So I think the consumer will be the winner. Uh, you know, again, I think the pricing power of Amazon and Walmart probably trumps the, the you know, the convenience and shopping experience of Target. How would you um, stack up Walmart Plus versus Prime and whether or not Prime is taking away from uh, excuse me, Walmart Plus is taking away from Prime subscribers. I think they're really two different plays. Um, you know, the Walmart Plus is really a, an intense loyalty program with, with Walmart shoppers in an attempt to bring in uh, new customers. Amazon Prime, you know, started out as a, as a shipping, a free shipping piece at $79 and, is, and has gone up 76% in price. I think they're 139 bucks now. For membership, and now you know they, they justify that with uh, Prime Video, which, by the way, half the time you have to pay for the video anyway. So I, I don't quite get it, but I think they're different plays. I think Amazon uh, Prime is this, you know, all-encompassing, uh, trying to be this all-encompassing, uh, you know, self-contained universe, and Walmart Plus is really targeting Walmart and retail shoppers.